cyberbullying, sexting, child predators. They're all just a click away from your kids. We can keep our children safe, and it starts with the talk, the digital talk. Not unlike the sex talk or the drugs and alcohol talk, the digital talk needs to happen if your kids use a computer or a cell phone. So what do you say and where do you start? KXY4's Robin Nance is here to help. Robin? Well, Nadine, I am dealing with this exact same thing at my house. All of my kids have computer access. One has a cell phone, another one is begging for one. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure how to get started on this. So I sought help of the people in the know. I usually text like from the time I get home till I go to bed. Jacob, a Mount Spokane student, sends an average of 3,000 texts a month. He's 16 and he's right on track with most teenagers who have their own cell phones. His 13-year-old brother Dylan and 15-year-old stepbrother Trevor are about the same. I don't really like talking on the phone, just texting is just easier for me. All three boys have their own cell phones, their own iPads, and computer access, which their parents find beneficial. The primary reason was for us to have communication with them and a sense of responsibility. Mary and Brian Payne focus on responsibility and allowing the boys the privilege of technology ownership. We want to instill with them as far as like if someday when they have to have a job and are working, if they don't fulfill certain expectations, things get taken away. The Paynes have strict rules with no gray areas. Abide by the rules or lose the privilege. Keep your room clean, do chores, and get good grades, which they check online. Absolutely no inappropriate texts or pictures or bullying or being a part of negative threads online. Mom and dad are watching and the boys know it. Before like every like Facebook post or like tweet I make, I like think, will my parents be okay with this? And like sometimes it's like, oh, I, I better not say that. That's the kind of forethought Hannah Masters would like to see more from teenagers. Things that are posted online live forever. Hannah runs a company called abeanstock.com, whose purpose is to educate and engage parents and young people about cyber safety. So why the name A Beanstalk? Our generation immediately thinks of Jack and the Beanstalk. Well, our children are spending a lot of time in the cloud and we needed a way to connect us as parents to that world. It's a world that can be intimidating for the technologically unsavvy. Many of us don't have a clue how to navigate this with our children, much less begin the conversation. A Beanstalk makes it very easy with an internet mobile safety pledge aimed at keeping our children safe. I promise not to meet anybody in real life that I met online. Um, I'm not going to say harassing or mean things. You know, it just goes through some of the real serious talking points that can really cause devastation in your life. On the website, you'll find a free program that tracks your child's digital world, what's coming in, what's going out. It filters at 24 hours a day. And in the event that something is going out of bounds, mom or dad gets a real-time notification. The program searches for key words, phrases, and acronyms. Today, it highlights about 7,500, and the system is learning more all the time. If it finds those targets coming to or from your child, you are notified. So the first time your child is being bullied, you can then step in and say, whoa, what's going on with so-and-so? Why would he say that to you? You can upgrade that service for a monthly fee. You can add a GPS tracker on your child's phone. My child knows I trust him, but I can verify at any time that he's where he's supposed to be. And that is a nice, that helps him. It also gives him that thing to fall back on when his friends say, oh, let's go do this. And he can go, no, I'm supposed to be here. My mom can check. And when parents are engaged, both the parents and children have peace of mind. I know it's like, oh, good for the long run. But Okay, so we have linked this information for A Beanstalk to our homepage. And I also, in searching, found that AT&T and Verizon both have some really good information for parents regarding teens and cell phones mm -hmm. and these contracts that you can go through with your kids and just say, I will do this, I will, and if yeah. I don't, I get your phone. Well, number one, I love having the rules. Love it. I love that it's a privilege, not a right. Mm -hmm. And I like being able to track your child's activity on yep. these devices. Without having to grab their phone and, you know, right. and spy on them. This does yeah. it for you, really. It's Great advice. Yeah. So have you got it all figured out for your family? I'm now? working on it. Okay. I am. <laughs> and you're helping everybody else out there, too. We Thanks are. A lot, Robin. Thanks.